Well, I'm glad you joined us today. We're uh, reading again from 1 Peter. We're in chapter 4 today. Um, there's a, con a consistent theme throughout this great letter, and uh, the encouragement here is about the sufferings that we experience, whatever that might mean for you, but to kind of continue to work on uh, a shift, a paradigm shift in the way we look at our lives and how we experience it, and maybe looking at the glass half full uh, whenever difficulties come from when we are serving the Lord. So listen to these verses I read from 1 Peter chapter 4. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you, but rejoice inasmuch as you participate in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any other kind of criminal or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. For it is time for judgment to begin with God's household. And if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? So then, those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. You know, it's interesting that uh, this whole idea of suffering and you know, those of us that are Americans and how we might um, define suffering in this life, um, is, is maybe a very unique experience how believe, to how believers experience around the world. But nonetheless, maybe your, your view of it is uh, a, a level of persecution as you try to take a stand for Christ or try to live for Him in the, the world in which God has placed you. And I think uh, this passage is a reminder to us that uh, there are, there's an, a unique view of those sufferings that God intends for us to have. Uh, that we're to rejoice. That's the, 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 the thread that is weaved throughout the, the letter from Peter. That we are to look at those sufferings, those difficulties, those challenges, and to rejoice. When we suffer like Jesus did, when we suffer as being Christians, that uh, we would count that as a blessing. Now here's the unique part of this passage of Scripture. It's found in verse 19. I want to read it for you again. It says, so then those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful creator and continue to do good. So here's the idea I think that God is hitting at through Peter's pen, and it's this, that you would resign yourself that God is going to accomplish his purposes ultimately from what we're experiencing. So I think when we say, God, you do what you wanna do in the midst of what I'm experiencing. So it may not necessarily be persecution, that others around the world are experiencing, but it may be pressures or unique tensions, uh, challenges or difficulties that may be unique to the, uh, the atmosphere, the environment that you're in, maybe at work or at school, uh, when you begin to express your, your Christian views on things. The idea that I think he's hitting at here is that we would not lose sight of that God is at work in this world through you. And so commit yourself to him. Let God use you in those settings. Whatever he wants to accomplish, let God's will be done. So my encouragement to you today is to, uh, to pray that prayer, to ask him to, uh, to do what he is going to do as a result of what you're experiencing. Commit that to him. And I think God will uh, use you in amazing ways and you'll see his hand of blessing on you, uh, not only uh, in your heart and in your mind, but it may be in that very experience that you're involved with. Uh, so God bless you as you begin to allow God to do his perfect plan and exercise his will in and through your life. God bless you today.